Hello, I'm Shan from Ireland Free Die, and today we're going to show you the top five best things to do in Belfast. Let's go. Begin your time in the city with a visit to the iconic Titanic Belfast. Located in the Titanic Quarter, on the site of the historic docklands where the Titanic was built, this incredible attraction charts the life of this famous ocean liner, right from its construction in Belfast through to its tragic sinking during its maiden voyage in 1912. Titanic Belfast even tracks the ship's impact on popular culture, as well as modern innovations in shipbuilding and ocean exploration up to the modern day. First opened in 2012, this incredible attraction has already won numerous awards, including the title of the world's leading tourist attraction in 2016. With thousands of tourists travelling to the city simply to visit this incredible exhibition, Titanic Belfast is a must while in the city. Stop number two is Crumlin Road Jail. First opened in 1845, the prison operated for over 100 years before closing its doors in 1966. During that time, the prison housed thousands of prisoners and was the site of 17 executions. Today, visitors can take a walk around this Victorian style prison, getting an exclusive look into the cells that give insight into the conditions in which prisoners were held. You can even visit the execution room where 17 men were hanged. Crumlin Road Jail gives an insight into the darker side of the city's past and is well worth visiting for anyone interested in history. The third stop on our list is Stormont, which is the seat of Parliament in Northern Ireland. Located just east of Belfast City, Stormont Estate is the perfect location for a peaceful walk on a sunny day with plenty of beautiful walking trails and fun activities for all ages to enjoy. Stormont Parliament buildings are open to the public from Monday to Friday with tours taking place at 11am and 2pm. This is a must for those curious to learn more about politics in Northern Ireland offering visitors the chance to look around the opulent Parliament buildings. The estate is free to visit, however you must have a ticket if you want to take a tour of the building, so make sure to book in advance so you won't be disappointed. If you want to learn more about the city's troubled past, we recommend taking a black taxi tour. From the 1960s to the 1990s, Northern Ireland was the site of much conflict between the Unionist and Nationalist communities, known as the Troubles. Thankfully, Northern Ireland has enjoyed peace for the past 20 years and the country has progressed tenfold since the signing of the Good Friday Agreement in 1998. However, the legacy of the Civil War lives on, with the peace walls and murals from that time still visible today. A black taxi tour is a great way to learn about the Troubles in Northern Ireland in a balanced and unbiased way. Guides will take you around some of the most previously troubled areas, giving you an insight into the impact of the conflict on the city. The fifth and final spot on our list of places to visit in Belfast is the Cathedral Quarter. This lively and vibrant quarter is a nightlife hub, with plenty of great bars and restaurants dotted all around the area. Fancy a drink? If so, this is the perfect place to soak up the culture of the city and visit some of the most historic and authentic pubs Belfast has to offer. The Cathedral Quarter is also home to some breathtaking works of street art that brighten up the city streets and highlight the artistic nature and creativity that breathes life into the Northern Irish capital. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and give the video a like.